now the V of the right hand again here. See how it's over here to the edge of the shoulder? That's best. If the right hand gets too much on top, I'm telling you, it, it causes all kinds of trouble for players to get that right arm inside. Okay. As I was showing you, it prevents the motion. Let's see. Yeah, look, this one you shallowed better. Do you see the shaft angle there? Nice job. You shallowed it well. Let's see the club face. And look at that. The face was more stable through the ball here. I think that grip adjustment is critical for you. Look, if we compare, let's go to compare mode to the well, face yeah, I, face, the face on. I'm just curious. Oh, yeah, look, that right hand when you started today. Wow, that's a huge difference. The right hand V on, on this one, that would be here. And now what we've done is we've got it. If you look over here, look at this. Now we've got now we've got the, the this over to the shoulder correctly. Okay, that's a huge huge thing for the path and for the ability of your left hand to be able to close the club face correctly. Are you with me? Yeah. Nice. That's huge. So many people overlook that, but see because you've gotten all these other things done. Yeah. It's funny, it's process of elimination, you know? And it's funny because I'm watching you and I'm seeing at the bottom of your swing, I'm seeing the club come outside and then I'm seeing your left hand not able to rotate. And then it looks like the culprit is this, the right, is the right hand. Your right hand is making it very difficult. I met uh, Stan Utley, you know who that is? He's a top 100 instructor, right? You know who Stan Utley is? No, Stan Utley, the golf pro. No. So this guy, Stan Utley, here, I'll just show you real quick. Stan Utley, golf. He, um, this is him, Stan Utley. Yeah, I, I met James him. Utley is the baseball player. Oh, is that right? Yeah. So this guy, I met him at the PGA uh, Teaching Summit in Las Vegas one time. And it was so funny because I told him, I said, you know, I said, I had this student, listen to this, I had this student that came in, right? And they were like, they're like, look, they're like, they're like, I can move my hand this way and this way, but I can't move it that way. Meaning like they can't go like this. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm like, that's monumental. I mean, yeah. thanks. I'm happy you told me that because I didn't know until that point. Right. And I was like, all right, well, let's try to figure out where you can hold the club then. Because that's an unusual situation. Yeah. Yeah. And so I said, look, I said, take your club back like this, put it here. Right. Then put your elbow in and then put your hand on the club. And let's see where your hand goes. Okay. And then that's where your hand should go, right? Because wherever, when the elbow's in, yeah. wherever you yeah. can have your hand, yeah. that's where it should be because then it's going to be over like this. See, if I do my elbow in and then I, and I, I try to get my hand this way, it feels awful. It feels, you see, so it kind of almost naturally helps you figure out that position. I want you to do that a moment just so that you can experience that also. But that's a cool little way to figure out where that right hand should go. First, put the elbow in position, then put the hand on, and that's it. Now, take it out there in front of you. Bring it out in front now, right? And then look at where this will be resting on here. No, no, yeah. it's not on there, and that's way too tight, remember? Okay. Okay, there. Look who that is. Look, and yep. see, okay. see this? Yep. So that's a li another little cheat, cheat code, if you will, to get your right hand in the right spot.